I knew it. I've known it all along. But with a single solitary soul, listen to me. Oh, come on, Dad. Let's just be thankful we're all safe, eh? Thanks. Safe? What if the shock of all this had induced your pregnancy? Bloody lunatics. What are these ghouls doing hanging around? You're going to give yourself a heart attack. What's been going on here, then? Oh. Well, we rather thought your chaps would be able to tell us that. I just got a call over the radio to get myself down here. Well, as far as we know, there's been some kind of explosion. Anyone in there? We don't know. Oh, that's, um, Mrs. Jordash's too, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Yes, yeah, the younger one sustained some minor injuries. Flying glass. Virtually every window in the close has been blown in. I'm all right. I don't want to go to hospital. Will you give us a minute, please? What a mess, eh? Where are you OK? Well, I am. So am I. She's been told she's got to go to hospital. For a few scratches. Best to get them looked at properly. You might need a tetanus. I hate needles. Well, you probably won't need one. I mean, what do I know? Oh, can you pass my bags, please? Yeah, sure. Thanks. You have any travels? No, no. Um, would you do me a favour and tell Mum what's happened when she gets back? No bother. Thanks. You have to feel those needles these days, you know. Better make yourself useful. Bye. Terry Sullivan and Simon, his pal, just minutes before the house went up. So, I mean, I can only assume that... Um... that they've met their own personal Armageddon. Dad! Well, it's no use parading some belated sense of outrage now, Patsy. Let's not forget who called the police in and tried to sort this mess out months ago. As if I could. <laughs> aye, aye. There goes the goon squad. They're bringing in the big boys. Anti-terrorists, if I'm not mistaken. What? Well, they may well have said they're a religious cult, but who knows what this lot was a front for. Oh, <clears throat> Yeah, I'm fine. I think the explosion must have woken the baby up. Well, get you sat down, eh? We're in for a little one in there, Peter. Uh, thanks. They're bringing someone out. Who is it? Can't tell. Well, there's two more. Do they look badly hurt? Right, so. Oh, Lord, I think... What? Well, one of the bodies look... looks covered up. What, someone's dead? Uh, no point in speculating until we know for sure what's happened, eh? No, no, right. So, do you reckon there's any more in there? God only knows. What a nightmare. And all in the name of religion. Um, I think they've got to go through. Yeah, come on, let's order at the table. Come on, love, shake a leg, eh? I am doing. What is the matter with you? Half an hour ago, I proposed to you. You haven't said a blind word to me since. Give us a chance, will you? I am giving you a chance. I'm giving you a chance to marry me. I know, and when it sinks in, I'll bet I'll be made up. But one thing at a time, eh? <laughs> come on, son. Oh, officer, here we are. Complete list of the current incumbents of the place. Oh, that was quick. Cheers. My pleasure. Any news? Wouldn't say. Well, that lot likes to play it close to the chest. I mean, why tell the boring old community Bobby anything, eh? I don't suppose you've any idea when they'll let us back home, have you? None at all. Sorry. So, how uh, do you fancy a spot of midwifery? Uh, <laughs> that isn't funny. You should be inside, in the war. What war, I'm afraid the old homestead looking a touch ventilated there. Mum, where did you come from? Well, they've closed the footpath off. I had to come the long way round. What on earth's happened? Oh, we're not quite sure. Well, is everyone all right? Yeah, yeah. Panic's over. Oh. I wondered how long it would be before the vultures descended. Well, were you inside when the windows were blown through? Dad was. Are you all right? Oh, yes, yes, fine. Oh, thank God for that. I suppose we could thank God for quite a few things, actually. Right. Well, seeing as we appear to be in for a long haul, perhaps we could be of some assistance to our emergency services. Uh, I think we'll be able to manage, thanks. No, only in the catering department. I thought a few sandwiches might be in order. Oh, that's very good of you. Oh, but you've got no access to your house. Oh, not to worry. Won't take me a second to make a list of your fellow officers' requirements. Jean, you wouldn't mind grabbing some supplies from the Dixon shop and rustling something up in the florist, would you, dear? 
Yeah, not at all. Oh, thanks. Thanks a million. More than welcome. Going. Yeah, but he's a knob, isn't he? <laughs> right, I'll sort some more drinks out, eh? So? Same again, is it? Oh, it's me. Yeah, I'll just get the waiter to shout that. No, it's all right. He's off his feet, so I'll nip to the bar. I'll give you a hand. So, what's one of them foul thingies like? Nice? Yeah, yeah, I love it. Excuse me, mate. Yes, sir. Uh, you wouldn't have a bottle of champagne in the fridge, would you? Yes. Speak to me. What about? What do you think? After. When? When I finish celebrating my son's graduation. So does that mean you're turning me down, then? No. So that's a yes. Beverly, in case you haven't noticed, I am still actually married to somebody else at the moment. Yeah, well, that's another thing that needs sort, isn't it? God, give me strength. Well, don't you think it's about time you started talking divorce with Dee Dee? Keep it down, will you? Sorry. It's not as simple as that, is it? Why not? Because of all the religion and what have you. It's got nothing to do with religion, Mon. She'd hang on to you in spite. Oh, don't be soft. Uh, thanks, mates. Have you got five glasses as well, please? Yes. Listen, you just leave Dee Dee to me, OK? We've really got to watch how we handle it on this one. So, mate, just grab them, will you? Here we go, then. Bottle of bubbly for the brain of Britain. Yes. <laughs> Well, they're all night at this rate. I'd be quite happy for you to use the bungalow as your nerve centre, so to speak. Thanks, but I honestly think we'll be OK. Oh, fair dues. Huh. I do wish Gina get a move on with these sandwiches. I can't be bothered cooking any tea. You can't speak, Yeah, whatever. Oh, no. Oh, my no. God. No. It's Trevor, the Mr. Frank. No, no way. What are we going to do? Just act normal. Normal? We'll say nothing. No, you say nothing. You know nothing. You did nothing. Mrs. Jordash. This is my problem, OK? I'm afraid I've got a bit of bad news. There's been some sort of explosion on the close. What? In a house over the way. You mean it's not... But, uh, whose house, wait? I'm not sure of the owners. I believe some religious types have been squatting there. Oh, that lot. Well, what happened? Was it a dodgy gas heater or something? Well, your guess is as good as mine, but whatever it was, I'm afraid the blast was powerful enough to put your windows through. Rachel, she's at home. It's OK. Please tell me she's all right. Well, she did get caught by a couple of stray splinters of glass, but there's only a few scratches to show for it. Where is she? She's gone with the big sister to the hospital. But honestly, everything is OK. Big sister? Yeah, your eldest. Uh, Beth, isn't it? Yeah, but... Uh... She's away at the moment. Oh, that's what the bag was for. I think you'll find she just got back. And they are both all right? Yeah. Listen, do you want me to get one of the lads to run you down the Aussie? There's no point shelling out in the cab, is there? Was anybody in the house hurt? They've taken three bodies out. That's all I know. Well, were the lads girls? What? Couldn't tell you. I'll get that car. Oh, God. Teddy. Kill you, Michael. That thing's blown the flaming head off. I thought you wanted to spice you on. Very funny. <laughs> Tell you what, it was a cracking meal, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. bloating. Not too full for a few more drinks, though, eh? Aye, aye. I think your mother wants to go clubbing today. Eh? <laughs> what about carrying the party on around the hours? Um. Oh, go on, Dad. Yeah, we can stop off for a muffin. You can get me some more ale in. Ah, go on, you twisted me arm. So we have to get off home? Yeah, well. We're only for an hour, aren't we? Oh, we are. But what about your son? Who are you, Josh? You're not a party pooper, are you, my son? No, you're a Dixon, aren't <laughs> you? <laughs> right, I'll get the bill, eh? Hello. Where's Rachel? She's OK. She'll be out in a minute. Is she hurt? No, she just got a few cuts. She's fine, honest. God for that. So, how are you? I'm surviving. What were you doing back at the house? I came to pick up some clothes. Good timing, you know what? Beth, 
Where the hell have you been? No one. Oh, are you all right, love? Yeah, they gave me an injection, but it didn't hurt anything. Oh, God, what am I going to do with a pair of you, eh? Look, I'm terribly sorry about these sandwiches. I can't imagine what's keeping her. I'm sure your wife's doing her best, Mr. Crosby. Uh, yes, yeah, perhaps I should just nip across and uh, hurry her along. She did have a fair few sandwiches to make. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, driver, end of the line. Evening, all. Hi, right, Ben. What's the score? Yeah, that's all the busies today, Dov. There's been a bit of an incident over at the Temple of Doom. I'm afraid the place has been blown to smithereens. Oh, my God. Three won't be part. Yes, three casualties. All members of the chosen few. And they've evacuated the buildings of it. For the time being, yes. Hey, does this mean the party's off, then? Has anyone said when we can get back in? Well, it could be an overnight job. I'm afraid I don't know. Anyway, must press on. Uh, I'll see you later, all right? Yeah. Good I'll be. Welcome to Wacko or what? Oh, wait, hang on, matey, huh? What are you doing? Taking Josh home. It's no point standing here for hours on end, is there? She's right, love. Yeah, I suppose so. Can I tell you what? Why don't you all go back to the flat? Pardon? Well, if they're not going to let anyone back in, you'd have to get your head down there anyway, so? Yeah, well, what about you? No, I'll wait here and clean the mess up. You get back and uh, get the party going, I'll catch up with you later. Yeah, sounds like a good idea to me. Yeah, come ahead, Mum. Well, you go and I'll stay with your dad company. Are you all right, Dee? Well, we might as well all stay, then. No, no, you're bailing the cab now. Go on, you get off. I'll catch up with you that way. Come on, love. I just thought they probably brought whoever was in the house in here, haven't they? Do you want to check, see if it was Terry? If you don't mind. Can I come with you? Rachel? Eh, uh, yeah, you don't know. She's not doing any harm. Come on. See you in a minute. Another student. Have you seen Chris? No. So, who's his friend? Lucy. And I've been sleeping on the floor. You're stuck on someone's floor? Yeah, well, I thought you'd be relieved. I I've been worried sick. Well, there's no need to. All I've been doing is revising for my reset. I haven't had the time for any sexual debauchery. Oh, please, Beth. Sorry. Look, I know I've upset you, and I still haven't got a clue I'm expected to cope with all this, but if I suddenly didn't care who you'd been out with, and I promised not to bring any of it up again, would, would you please come home? Mum, can't you see that I want you to care? I didn't mean that. I... Oh, I don't know. I just want you back where you belong. Regardless of who I might bring home for tea? Regardless. Any luck? No, wouldn't tell us a thing. I just hope to God Teddy wasn't in there. Right. Um, let's go, won't we? Good idea. At this rate, they'll all be dead of malnutrition. Have you quite finished? Have you? Oh, hurry along, Jean. You mustn't keep the boys in blue waiting. Oh, that's it. Go ahead. Mock. Just like you did when I spoke out, sir. What was it you said? Idiotically against those religious maniacs. Oh, you're such a martyr. I'm glad you find it so easy to reduce my every word to the level of a joke. Let's face it. You are revelling in all this. I don't be so ridiculous. Me ridiculous? It's you that's 
traipsing round after that poor young policeman like a lapdog. That is absurd, woman. You've got the spirit of the blitz oozing out of every pore. A few men in uniform turn up and you treat them like royalty. But in the meantime, you treat your own wife like... Uh, a... Right, thank you very much. I don't have to listen to this. I'll take these over now. That'll do. Thank you. Okay, so please, let me do that. Well, that's me knackered anyway. What? There's not much call for window cleaning around here at the moment, is there? Sinbad, what have I told you about letting rip while you're up them ladders? Oh, I'm sorry, mate. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gents, good news. It's safe for you to return to your homes. Ah, fantastic. Sorry about the inconvenience. That's all right. Thanks for the use of the crew. Everyone OK? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fine, thanks. I get all this glass cleared up and then board this lot up later, eh? Oh, I didn't know you were into glazing as well. No, oh, jack of all trades, me, you know. Uh, do me rounds later, see if anyone else needs me services. Might as well make a few bob well, but that's it, eh? Get in. Don't tell me it's all over. It certainly is. Damn. The sound is sorry. Oh, it doesn't matter. I don't suppose you want to take him back to the station, do you? By the time I get back, the lads will be tucking into egg and chips. Of course. Still, get home now, sort your windows out, put your insurance claims in. Home. <laughs> Things not so good at the mo. Understatement of the year, old son. Yeah, I know the feeling. You're under the cosh yourself? On and off. It's the job, really, you know, the hours and what have you. Uh, the missus wants to see a bit more of you, I suppose. Yeah, I wish. She's got me doing all the overtime God sends. <laughs> Women. Can't live with them. Can't bury them in the backyard. <coughs> Too true. Mr. Crosby, I couldn't nab that cheese and Branston order, could I? Yes, yes, of course, by all means. It's on the top. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Ta da. Cheerio. Right. Sit down there and I'll have those, please. Thank you. Well, shall I cook us some food then? No, no, no. I'll clear up the rest of the glass, go and pick Thomas up, and then I'll make us some dinner. You stay here. In fact, why don't you go to bed for an hour while I sort everything out? Oh, I had a cat up in the car. I'm not bed. No. Hello. Yeah. Where are you? No, 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 no. I can't. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, I'll um I'll see you later. Max? I've um I've got to go out. I'll pick up Thomas on the way back. Max! No, you stay here. Max! Bed! What are you doing? I'm getting rid of this before Mum finds out about your little get-together. God, I forgot to. And half the police computer stuff's still in there, so I'd hide it if I were you. Well, I can't take you back to him. He's still out with his mum and dad. Yes, well, you better hide it then, hadn't you? Right, thanks. <coughs> OK, love? Yeah, fine, thanks. I'm glad to be back. <sighs> yeah, we're glad of a decent night's sleep. Bit comfy than some bedsit floor, eh? <laughs> With or without windows. <laughs> I've really missed you. Yeah, I miss you too. I don't think I realised till you left that you're my best friend as much as my daughter. I'm sure we can make it all like it was again. No, we can't, Mum. But it can't be the same, not now, can it? But it don't mean we still can't be best friends, does it?
it all right to come in? Well, you live here, don't you? Is everyone gone, then? Yes. That's a relief. Mm -hmm. Have you eaten? I was thinking of having 30 or so sandwiches a little later on. Oh, dear. Do you want me help with that? No, thank you. You just look after yourself. Excuse me. So those maniacs held you prisoner all this time? I've got the bad source to prove. I thought that... Well... Nothing. What about this bomb? That was St. Simon's idea of a leave and present, wasn't it? Were they intending to kill you? No. Let's just say his plans blew up on his face, eh? And Terry's. Yeah. So, are they all right? Both in the theatre. Getting operated on. This is insane. You're telling me. Look, um, I'm sorry about this. I've got to go. I've got to pick Thomas up at his friends. Why don't you come back with us? Oh, you're okay. You can get something to eat at our house. Get cleaned up. Even stay over if you like. Thanks, mate, but I'm staying put. Here? Yeah. Till I find out if Terry's all right or not. Is it that bad? They can't sell till after the op. They don't know if either of them is going to make it through the night. Okay. If there's anything you need. drama with the medics over on ITV shortly. Here on 4 Next, First Sex discovers why so many women are converting to Islam. flat and Penny told me you uh, hadn't been home. No. You stayed here all night. It's been shattered. Oh, nice. What about Terry? I still don't know. He's out of surgery. They've had to stick him in intensive care. Have you seen him? For about five seconds. Still unconscious. And, uh, what about, um... Simon. 
We're still trying to put him back together. Oh, yeah. Bit of a waste of time, really. Because if Terry dies, I'm basically gonna pull him apart. All done and dusted. Well in. Yeah, isn't he clever? Yeah. Is it a bit tricky putting the upstairs ones in? Nah, piece of cake. Well, you just watch yourself when you're up there. Now, hang on, I've spent half my life with bladders, you know. Yeah, you can't be too careful. No, that's right. Uh, hang on, can I just get on with it, please? Come on. I think you deserve a butty. Best of luck. Mm. Piece of cake. Oh, is Mr. Matt Chairman jealous? Hey, you just hang on. In a couple of hours' time, you'll be saying, what bleeding bum? So, what's your fancy on this butty, love? Cheese? Got any corned beef in? No, sorry, it's cheese or cheese. Ah, oh, hey. <laughs> Windows look good. Oh, glad you like them. Cracking day, isn't it? Oh, yeah, lovely. <laughs> Just right for killing a marriage. Just right for your first day of freedom. What a very nice thing to say, love. It's music to my ears. Look, lad, we know you want out, but you have to rub our noses in it with this song and dance routine. Sorry, I'm just being honest. I'm made up. So, uh, what did the letter say? Load of legal mumbo-jumbo, then the good news. Could I have a look? Uh, Please. OK. What's up? Nothing. Let's have a butcher. It's just a boring solicitor's letter. Oh, this is great, this. Here we go. Cited for adultery, eh? Looks that way, yeah. So? Who's the lucky girl, then? Eh? Hey. Who are they naming as your correspondent? They're not naming anyone. What are they going to do? Stick a pin in the list of bins you've knocked off in the past six months? Probably. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself. Not particularly, no. This is getting more sordid by the minute. I hope this isn't going to get nasty. Don't worry, it won't. Oh, so we're just presuming it's all going ahead then, are we? Get real, will you? This letter's from Sarah's solicitor. She wants the divorce, so will you let the pair of us get on with it? Oh, do what you like. Where are you going? Go on, Pete. All right. Come on. Jimmy Corkle. Don McAteer, your new lodger. Ah, Beverly, my hero. Mm, what are you after? You couldn't mind the shop for us for ten minutes, could you, love? I've got to nip round and sort the glazing fella out of Didi's. Oh, hey, Ron. Well, it's not my fault if some nuts that decides to blow the clothes up, is it? How long are you going to be? I don't know, but it'll save us shutting up. Well, I hope you're going to pay me for standing here like a girl for an hour. Pay you? Yeah. Well, I've already lost out on one job, haven't I, with that flame and club shut? While I'm stuck here, I could be round at Max Farnham's buttering him up some overtime. I don't suppose I've got much choice then, have I? Nope. I'll tell you what, though. I finished up a good laugh last night, didn't I? Your mic was rotten eyes. Yeah, well, it's not every day you graduate, love. It's not every day you propose to someone, either. Bev. I'm still waiting to hear the magic word. What magic word? Yes. Look, I haven't had a chance to... To what? You love me, don't you? Yes, of course I do. So then what's your problem? You know full well what the problem is. It's Dee Dee. Then divorce her. Yeah, well, that's easier said than done, isn't it? We haven't even asked her yet. Well, I'm biding me time. She might be fine. She might say, yeah, go ahead with it. Some hope. You know you. You're scared of her. Oh, don't be so bloody ridiculous. Sorry, should have come back in five minutes. No, no, you're all right, Ted. Come in, just a bit of a difference of opinion. You know how it is. Don't I just... Hey, you are. You're a man of the world, aren't you? Eh... Uh... So what do you think about divorce? I mean, I reckon if a marriage is dead, it's dead. There's no point keeping someone trapped when they could be out starting their life again. Oh, yeah. Well, I reckon there's too many people go out and get divorced like they were picking a tin of beans off a shelf. And if they tried a bit harder what they already had, the world might be a better place for it. So long you're in for, then? Long enough. Yeah? And uh, yeah, too long. What'd you get, you? Uh, a couple of robberies, you know. Same line as me. Oh, I. What'd you go for? Banks? Bowen societies? Uh, 
Jilvy. Jilos? Very nice, too. Yeah. How about you? Supermarkets. Oh, I. Do you, uh, go him tooled up or not, like? Not if I can help it. Me neither. I'm not fussy in guns. I prefer to use my bare hands. <laughs> Best way, I reckon, yeah. <laughs> I see a copy of Penthouse knocking around before. Yeah, do you want a shifty? Wouldn't mind. Cheers. Yeah, no sweat. Anything you want, just say the word. Feel any better? Too right. There you go. <laughs> Cheers. Right. I'll leave you to it. Uh, now you're, you're all right. Look, why don't you hang around for a bit? Well, um... I could do with a conversation, you know. All I've had is the bloody Bible rammed down me throat for the last fortnight. <laughs> Rather you than me. So... What are you going to do about this kidnapping? Well, there's nothing I can do. I mean, if I press charges, the odds are that sound will drag Teddy down with him. What did you tell the police? Well, that it was my house and I was trying to sort out my squatter problem. And they were happy with that? Well, it's true, isn't it? But what about this bomb? I mean, surely the police have got to charge Simon with something. Well, my guess is he'll work himself out some phony cover story. Anyway... Let's hope he snuffs it, Teddy recovers, and we all live happily ever after. Anyway, what's the news on the restaurant front? Well, none, really. I didn't want to make any decisions till... Till you found out whether I'd done a runner or not. Well, I haven't. No. There is one decision I have been mulling over. Well, fire away. I don't really know how to tell you this. I want out. Of the deal? Yeah. Why? On a one-to-one -one basis, I really have enjoyed working with you, and I really thought that this was my big chance to break out and do something better, but... But what? It's your extracurricular activities. Eh? Guns, protection rackets, kidnappings. I, it's way out of my league. Well, it wasn't my fault you got kidnapped, was it? No, but... Well, I sorted out that Kenny Maguire, didn't I? <laughs> yes, but... So what's the problem? The problem is, you're a man that likes to sort out his problems with a revolver. I mean, I'm just a nice grammar school boy with three kids and another one on the way. I can't afford to get mixed up with gangsters. So are you calling me a gangster? <laughs> no, but... And what about the money you've put in? Well, yeah. It means cutting my losses, so be it. Is this Patricia talking? No. Oh, no. Well, not really. It's me. But didn't you realise the game we're moving into? This is all part of the territory. Maybe I've been a bit naive. But you've worked yourself into the deck for this. You just can't throw your hand in now. But I'm scared. Max, all you want to do is run a restaurant, right? Yes? Well, leave the less savoury side of things to me, then, eh? Oh, I don't know. I promise you, Max, you won't have to deal with anything more dangerous than a bread knife. How do I know that for sure? Cos I'm telling you, that's ab. And what about the gun? What about it? Well, I don't want you getting it out every time the fishman's half an hour late. There it is. Put it away. All right. It's going back where it belongs. In the safe. For good? As far as you're concerned, yeah. OK, Max. For good. Now, come on, mate. You're the ideas, man. You're the one that's got us this far in the first place. Is it? Yeah. So, stick with it, eh, partner? OK. 
you win. All Betty Banks' time in this. Well, I'm impressed. Well, you will be, once I get going. Uh, and I'll tell you another thing. I'm putting them two to shame and all. Do you want to stop for a cup of tea? No. This is a Guinness Book of Records job, this. Ah, me back! What's the matter? Ah, me back, I can't move. Well, what shall I do? I don't know. Well, be careful, mind the glass. Oh, just get out of the way. I think I'm going to drop it. What's happened? I think his back's gone. You all right, Sim? Do I look all right? Well, just hold on. I haven't got much choice, have I? What's up? Back's gone. So I found the fire brigade? Well, after yesterday's fiasco. I think we're better off working this one out for ourselves. Any ideas? I'll just grab me ladders. We'll have to get that glass off him first. What's happening? Dodgy back. He's stuck up there. <laughs> it's not funny, you know. Hey, she's right, you know. Do you know what? I once slept a disc and I was in bulk for weeks. I know, there's nothing worse, is there? You can't do anything, man. Do you know the pain? I know, that's right. Hey, are you two quite finished down there, like? Yeah, make yourself useful for the change. Get up there and grab that glass. The glass is the easy bit. What are we going to do about the soft lad? You shouldn't keep me tonight, like this. Don't worry, mate. We'll have you down in no time. You won't regret this. Well, I certainly hope not. Oh. Well, well, look who it isn't. Well, listen, uh, I better start making tracks. Thanks again, mate. Okay. Bye. Bye. You all right? Are you? Well, I'm a bit rough around the edges. So, what else is new? Take it you've had a with little adventure, then. The whole thing sounds horrendous. Yeah, well, I've had better fortnights. <laughs> Still, you made it back in one piece. Yeah. It's good to see you. Is it? Hmm. Step at a time. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, God almighty. Sim, couldn't you just sort of slide down, you know, without moving anything? What do you think this is, Tom and Jerry? Of course, I will be up there all night at this race. <sighs> Who's the photos? Family. You got kids, yeah? Yeah, too. Very nice. You married? Divorced. Oh. So do you work local then? Yeah, club in Manor Park, you know. No, I mean these jewellers. Do you only rob local firms? Depends, you know. Uh, I don't know. Listen, when I said jewellers, I meant jewellery, OK? I'm not some sort of big armed robber, you know. I got done for screwing a couple of houses, that's all. Yeah. But when I said supermarkets, I didn't mean wage snatches or anything. I'm in here for shoplifting. Shoplifting? I had 32 other offences taken into account. So what was all this using me bare hands for, then? Just trying to sound hard. You can meet some right villains in here, can't you? It's all me. I thought I was bad. Sorry. Nah, I'll let you off. Do you play drafts? When I was a kid, yeah. Fancy game now? Why not? Come on. <sighs> Come on, lad, nearly there. <sighs> Come on, son, easy now. Dude, Last step. <sighs> Come on, easy, easy. Oh. That's it, that's it. <sighs> Just slide me down, hold on. Just slide me down. You'll never get him back up. <sighs> well, easy. Come on. Come on. Are you all right? No, we've got to get him inside. Well, there's a bed in the extension. Do you want to go in the extension? Well, I bet you say that to all the window cleaners, you, don't you, Just Get eh? me in anywhere. I don't care. Just get me in. Right, uh, you two girls want to take a leg between you. Be careful, I'm not a bloody butterball turkey. Yeah, OK. Oh. You're right. not yeah, mm. One, two, 
three. Cut off! Oh, the waiter room? Hey, I'm not deaf either, you know, you. Well, phone for a doctor in a minute. I don't want any doctors I can't be doing with them. Hey, it's not you she's ringing it for, it's me. This is giving me a bloody alien. Oh, ow, ow. Oh. One no. Good job of not playing for money, innit? Fancy another? Yeah, go ahead, why not? So come on then. How'd you end up in this place? Told you. Sticky fingers. Oh, come on, what's your story? How does anybody end up on the rope? Lots of reasons. No cash, no job. More to it than that sometimes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I had a job. A house, a wife. Still ended up in here. How come? Jokes. <laughs> what's the joke? Meet your mate. You will. You and all? Smack? Yeah. Best place for us, I suppose, eh? You reckon? Keep us off the stuff, if nothing else. Got this this morning. Should keep us happy, eh? Yeah? Thanks, but, uh, You're on your own, mate. It's good gear. Sorry. I've given it up for Lent. What about the game? You took your time, didn't you? Sorry, love. I've been fighting the Battle of Simbad's back. Hey? Nothing. So then, how's your wife? Oh, don't start again, please. I think you need to understand something, Ron. I will start again and again until you come up with some answers. Bev, I'm not a medical worker. And I am not a fool. I mean, if we leave it to you, we'll just be drifting on forever and ever, amen? And would that really be such a bad thing? Yes. I want you to make an honest family of us. Do you realise I've been hanging on, holding back this little one's christening because I wanted us to do it as Mr and Mrs Dixon? I didn't even know you wanted them christened. Of course I do. I want it done properly. I want to make a special day of it, like you did Mike's graduation. All right, then we will. We will. Put on the best christening this city's seen in years. When? Soon as you like. Don't you think we should wait? What for? Well, till you and Didi are sorted. Love, even if she agreed to a divorce tomorrow, we'd still have to wait for all the paperwork to come through. It takes months. I suppose so. Listen, I'm proud of you, and I'm proud of him as well. I don't need a ring on my finger to advertise the fact. Hey, Shorty, how'd you fancy getting christened? <laughs> That's better. <laughs> but uh, you will still have a word with Dee you know, sort it out. Yeah, I will. But it'll be on time, eh? Yeah, babe. Ah, oh, cheers, love. Mm, give Andy. Just diving out. Where are you off? Spot of adultery, maybe? Yeah, quick three in a bed sesh with a couple of old housewives. Don't mind us, you carry on. He's got a serious problem, you know. I've got a problem. Oh, look, pack it in, eh? Is it the divorce that bothers you? No, you get your divorce. Just don't come running to me when you need a handout for solicitor's fees and court costs. Or is it because I've brought some terrible shame on our good family name? Carl Banks, adulterer. Yeah, well, it's not something you'd want to shout about, is it? I'm hardly a wife beater, Mum. That's all right, then. What exactly is your gripe, Dad? Do you really want to know? OK, I'll tell you. You're my eldest son, and all I've ever wanted is to be proud of you. But the way you're acting at the minute makes me feel embarrassed and ashamed, and that guts me. End of story. You didn't get all of this in just for me, did you? My way of saying welcome home. Well, thanks. We aim to please. Shall I do the honours, then? I'll tell you what, it smells great. Can't wait to start. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Tastes lovely, now. I take it you haven't had much in the way of five-star cooking over the last few weeks. You take it right. Must have been an awful experience. Yeah. Were you really scared? Do you know, at one stage, you... What? That's Simon. He 
was really strung out. I thought I might be right in my will. You really thought he was going to kill you? I wouldn't put anything past him. What a nightmare. But do you know what the worst of it was? Go on. If he had sought me and they'd done a bunk, I could have been lying there for weeks before anyone had even bothered to come looking. Surely not. It's true. I had a lot of time to think tied up in that room. And Bart and Terry, who, by the way, at the moment hates me, I've lost touch with every real friend I ever had. Even with me mum and dad, it's only Christmas and birthdays. There must be someone. Nope. That's why I ended up phoning Max when I was in the Aussie. <laughs> they asked me for an extra kin. And he was the best I could do. You could have phoned me. Could I? Yeah. I'd like to think I was a real friend. Thanks. I wonder how Teddy's doing. He's in good hands. He'll be fine. Next tonight, meet the living legend of the Birmingham street markets who believes he's the greatest trader who ever lived. A new series of short stories begins after the break. I reckon it was still touch and go last night. But they think he'll pull through. Well, the doctor says even over the last few hours he's got a lot stronger. Oh, that's good news. Yeah. Must be his blubber keeping him going, eh? I should have stayed with him now. Well, you're here now, aren't you? He might have died, on me. Well, he didn't, did he? I'm all right. You've been saying that all day. Well, I am. Well, I wish you'd let me phone the doctor. There's no point. Why not? Because all the doctor's going to do is going to poke around and tell me I've done me back in. Oh, but he could treat you for it. The only treatment I need is rest. I'll be as fit as a fiddle by tomorrow. And since when have you been the expert? I know me own back. Oh, so you've had back trouble before, then? <sighs> no, never. Well, you don't know it very well, then, do you? Come on, I'm just going to see you late. Right, OK, love. Sarah. Oh. See? Oh, give us a break, will you? You don't know what damage you've done. I'm more concerned about earache than backache at the moment. You might need a couple of days in hospital. I can't go to Aussie. I've got two jobs to hold down. How are you going to get up your ladders in this state? I don't know. Well, the windows will have to wait. Well, they can't. 
If I don't work, then I don't earn. But what about sick pay? Oh, yeah. Maybe my customers will have a whip around for me. No, I'll have to get myself sorted. Ow. Sinbad? Bloody hell. All oh, right, that's it. I'm phoning the surgery. I don't care what you say. How's your cut arm? Sure? No, it's fine. You have to go back to the RG again. That's it. What are you doing tonight? Don't know. Are you mum and dad in? I think so. If my mum went out a bit more, I'd never get our eyes to myself. Come round to ours and have a go on the computer later if you like. Yeah, OK. Hey, okay. hey. What have you been told about hanging round street corners? I've got nothing else to do, have we? <sighs> I mean, I could be training or anything if I wasn't banned from playing football. <sighs> Not the Paula Gascoigne speech again. I'm good, you know. I'm sure you're brilliant, but... What? I'm a girl, so? So I run on lads, footy team. All I want's a trial. Look, why don't you keep things simply? Sign for a girl's side. I want to join a girl's side. It's discrimination, this, you know. Oh, hello. So you brought your barrack room lawyer along for the ride, eh? What? <laughs> Listen, I'd love to stay and argue the toss with you guys, but I'm due at the Aussie in a minute. Why? What's up? Nothing. Just visiting someone. Who? Hey. Don't be nosy. So I've got no chance then, have I? Afraid not. See ya. You can't just do that, you know. I reckon you could sue him or anything. Maybe I will. Sexist pig. Oh, there's your dad now. Better make myself scarce, eh? Oh, now, don't be soft. Well, I'm getting a bit sick of the moral majority breathing down my neck every night. Yeah, well, it's not just your dad. It's the pair of you. Winding each other up like no-one's business. Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, you on. A bit late, aren't you? Ah, oh, sorry, love. Uh, tea on you? Oh, I was only going to do a salad. Don't bother. Hey? How do you fancy dining out? Well, what's brought this on? Mm, nothing. I just saw an advert for one of them carveries in the paper. If we get there before six, we get a three-quarter for a bluey. Great. I'd better get my skates on. How about you, lad? Right. Eat as much as you can. OK, so? Great. Oh, and there'll be a couple of other guests as well. Come on in, love. Daddy! Hey, Rebecca. <sighs> Hi, mate. How are you feeling? I've just been sworn to the doctor. He reckons you're well on the mend. <sighs> Which is more than I can say from my house. As soon as you're back on your feet, you can get round there with a tin of emulsion and a paintbrush. Nah, I'm only messing. Tell you what, though. Give me the chance to fill a few bob on the insurance. And when you do get out, sir, you can come and doss at ours if you like. We'll have a laugh, eh? You won't have to bother about that. That had the ball, Simon. I'm sorry I've been a bit harsh with you over all this religion and that. But I told you he was a nutter, didn't I? Just... I'm just sorry you had to find out for yourself. Still... All that crap's over and done with now. Things can get back to normal, eh? Hey, sir. Hey, maybe we could start going to match again, eh? You always said that you'd go back to the match, like, if, if Sunes left. Roy Evans is there now, isn't he? Or maybe we could, we could go on a holiday or something. What about that? We could find out the old ass version of 18 to 30, eh? Anyway, I'm doing it again, aren't I? Trying to run your life for you. Listen, mate. You just concentrate on getting better. Tell me what you want to do, eh? When you're better. Hey, sir. Oh, 
Hello. Hello. I'll put the kettle on. Just had a cup, thanks. What are these flowers doing in the bin? I apprehended some brainwashed morons trying to turn next door into some kind of shrine. It's a shame to throw them away. What do you expect me to do? Put them in a vase on the mantelpiece? No. You look very smart. Been out? Yes. Anywhere nice? Just out. What are you writing? Taking steps to enhance the quality of our life. That shouldn't take much doing. Well, this could be the key to everything. It's a time management scheme. What for? For us. Well, very happy with the way my time's managed, thank you. But this plan could make you that much happier. You see, as things stand, given our rather cramped surroundings, at certain times of the day, our paths are bound to cross, say, at the washing machine or in the bathroom. But if we each map out priority times for different chores, we could minimise the clashes and cut out the bigger factor almost entirely. Oh, what a wonderful idea. Well, there's no reason why we couldn't apply this theory to other areas, say, um, use of the TV or the food cupboard in the kitchen. Oh, you mean split the house down the middle? That's rather a crude way of putting it, but... Fine. You happy with that, then? Why shouldn't I be? Excellent. Well, thanks a lot, Doctor. I'll, um, I'll give you a ring if there's any problems, then. OK, thank you. OK, bye. Bye. So, how's the patient? In bulk. What was the verdict? Disaster. Complete rest and no work for at least a fortnight. To give me something for the pain. Yeah, I couldn't to the chemist for us, could you? Yeah, of course I'll do that in a minute. Uh, and while you're at it, see if you can get a wheelbarrow so I can get round to me flat. <laughs> Don't be daft, you'll have to stay here. Are you sure? We haven't got much choice, have we? No. So that's it then, pure rest? No. He said it never would have happened if it wasn't for this. Oh dear. I've got to lose a couple of stone, otherwise it's back in city from now until doomsday. So you're on a crash diet, then? Goodbye, Mr Chips, Mr Pizza, Mr Ale. Oh. And, uh, there's one more thing. I've got to wear this. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Course it! <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> so... How are you? OK. Yeah? Shall I track these open? Yeah. So, uh, have the doctor says when they're kicking me out of here? You don't pinch a strawberry one. They're my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. Yeah, hey, yeah. Uh, they'll be naming a award after you at this rate. <laughs> oh, I, <hi>, yeah. <laughs> I've been getting lots of complaints off my customers, saying the pizzas don't taste as good since you did a book. I'm afraid they're going to have to get used to them. Yeah. Things aren't as straightforward as the doctors thought. I've got to stay in a bit longer. Typically, I'm even having problems with my problems. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mies. It's not your fault, is it? Anyway. I don't think I'll be slicing pizza for a good while, yeah. Now, well, look, the job's always there for you when you get better. So? And if there's anything you ever need? There is, actually. Say the word. Will you check on Gary for us? Mm, sure. Where's he staying? He's at the flats. On his tod? I thought it'd only be for a few days. Oh, wasn't there anyone you could there? Uh... Once you leave them flats empty, you've had it. To be either vandalised or overrun by druggies, we didn't want to take the risk. And he's been all right, has he? He comes to see me every day. He seems fine. OK. I'll drop in on the way, will we? If we made up to see you. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Uh, table for four, please, love. We're still in time for the Cavalry Special, aren't we? I'm afraid not. Are they? Sorry. Oh, take your time. I'm paying full whack. Ah, oh, I'll get the ale in then, eh? Yeah, bitter. Two gin and tonics. Back to the lava lemon. And one lemon. Excuse me, lad. Mm. 
Well, this is all very nice, isn't it? Look at me. What's he pulling up, Oh, how do I know? Has he said anything to you, love? Just turned up on my doorstep, said I'd arranged a night out. I presumed it's all new. Oh, never presume anything with Eddie Banks. Well, I don't know what stunts he's trying to pull, but I'm afraid he's wasting his time and his money. Shall I come and pick you up later? Yeah, I'm, I'll phone you up, tell you what I'm doing. Okay. He's opened his eyes. Penny, he's opened his eyes. Teddy, it's me. I'll get the nurse. Teddy, everything's gonna be all right, mate. Teddy, you're gonna be all right. No, no, no. Teddy, devil, look, it's all devil. Me. Devil, you're the devil. Teddy. Devil, no, no, get him away from me. Teddy, what's he's evil. evil. What's up with you? He's it's the right. devil. It's right. He's evil. Okay. Get me out of here. He's the Everyone's devil. All right. You mustn't get up. You're all right. Get out. It's okay. It's okay. He's evil. It's all he's right. the devil. He's, he's the all devil. Right. He's gone. Now, are you going to finish me off or what? Mum. Hiya. Quick, quick, shut the door over. Shut the door over. Hiya, what's that? <laughs> what's that thing? <laughs> Bad, stupid. <laughs> Finished. Thanks. Oh, another thought. If either of us is planning on entertaining company for the evening, I think 48 hours' notice should be enough for the other party to make alternative arrangements. All right? in these places, haven't you? You say so. Surprised at you, son. Thought it would have been three visits minimum. Sorry to disappoint you. Uh, shall I get another hand in? Uh, I'm all right, I'm all right. Yeah, me too. Cal? Yeah? Oh, what do you want? I'll have an explanation, please, of exactly what it is I'm doing here. Fair enough. I just thought it might be a bit easier to have a chat about a few things on mutual territory. What things? The divorce. Oh, so this is the sort of negotiating table? If you like. Only it isn't a union meeting, is it? I know that. So what was the plan? Sort our lives out over beer and sandwiches? No. Uh, your dad just wants to be sure you're making the right decision. <laughs> well, you better ask the missus. She's the one who wants rid. You've got a cheek, haven't you? This is definitely what you're after. I haven't got much option, have I? But divorce? It's a bit final, isn't it? Love, look, I know it's sad, but if that's what the pair of them decided... Couldn't you just slow things down? There's no point. I don't mean get back together or anything, just... Look, you want to be on your own, right? Right. And you want to go on living your own lives? Yeah. So what's wrong with the trial separation? Isn't that what they've got now? No. What they've got now is a right bloody mess. If you were separated, you can still have your freedom. But with no courts and no costs. Depends what you mean by freedom. Either of you can do what you want, when you want. You won't let a peep out of me. <laughs> Serious? Yeah. <laughs> do it this way. You miss out on all the hassle of a divorce case. And if you ever did decide you wanted to make another go of it... That's not going to happen. OK. But just by some remote chance. You'd be saving on another wedding, wouldn't you? What do you think, love? Son. Anything for a quiet life. What item right. coming? All right, mate. What's up? Come to talk tactics for the new season. No, your mum asked me to give you a knock. See, so you've managed to burn the place down, is it? No, not yet. So, why don't you invite me in then? I'm just on my way out, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Judy in there, anyway. That's it. Don't mind if I take a quick nose, do you? Yeah, I'm in a bit of a hurry. 
What's that smell? Daaf kapot kot. Hey, you can all get going again. Come on, all of you out. Come on, clear out all of you. Mess in here. Come on, you. How did you even look after yourself? I can't. You're joking, are you? I was gonna clean up. Oh yeah, when? After? No, oh, it's too late now. What do you mean? I want to sort some clothes out. Why? I wouldn't let a dog live like this. Go and get something packed. Come on with me. Tea in ten minutes. Ta. How's Simbad doing in his corset? <laughs> well, at least he can sit up straight now. I bet I'll take the mickey out of him. Yeah. Are you, um, glad she's back? Of course. Yeah, me too. Has, um, has Beth said anything to you about how she feels? You mean about girls? Mm. No. Have you heard much about that sort of thing at school? Bits. Well, I wish I could explain it all to you, but I wouldn't know where to start. It was weird, you know. What? I've seen our Beth kissing that Chris. I know, love, but um, if that's how Beth wants to be, then we've just got to accept it. So you don't mind, then? Well, I can't say I'm happy about it, but honestly, it doesn't make her weird. Why do you think she's turned into one, though? Well, there's lots of different phases you can go through. Um, things happen, you get all mixed up, and... I don't really know. <laughs> Maybe it's to do with what happened with your dad. Why do you always have to bring my dad into everything? I'm not. I only said maybe. Does that make me a lesbian too, does it? No. Maybe we all are. Maybe Simba's a woman in disguise in his stupid corset. And all because of my dad. Oh, Rachel. Just leave me alone. I'm going to Lee's. Come on, darling. You're going to go to the toilet with us. Yeah, it's okay. Bye, babe. Mm. See you in a minute. I'll get the bill, eh? I'll go out with you. My treat. It's the least I can do. Seeing as you've just sorted me life out. Save your money, you're gonna need it. What for? I presume you're taking this separation idea seriously? Yeah. Well, we better start talking maintenance then. What? Freedom has its price, son. And I think it's time you are said of what is it. I'm all right, I don't need his money. It's not a question of what you need, it's what you're entitled to. We get by. I'm sorry. I don't want my granddaughter to just get by. I want my son to make sure she gets the best of everything. I'm off. No, you're not. Look, I've sat here and let you shout the odds all night. This is none of your business. Oh, yes, it is. Look, we can sort it out between ourselves. She can get her solicitor to put it in writing. I wouldn't want your stinking money. There you are. Happy? Sit down. Right. Will you stop being so bloody proud for a minute and think about what Rebecca needs? And you? You want to be a man? Sort it out yourself? Go on, then. Start talking. Would you like a coffee? No, nah, not for me. Something a bit stronger? Have you got any holy water? Are you sure you're all right? Don't come too near now. Remember, I'm a devil in disguise. What was all that about? <sighs> Nothing. It's just the kind of thing best mates say to each other up here, you know. Oh, I'm sure once Terry's fully on the road to recovery, he'll want to be friends with you again. No chance. That space cadet Simon's turned him into a zombie. He's wrecked his head and he's wrecked his life. Well, it's up to you to protect him from that now. Well, how? You saw him in there. He thinks I'm the Antichrist. But he's ill. <sighs> no, I've lost him for good this time. Once and for all. Don't say that. Yeah, but it's true. I hurt him once, you know. Badly. I never meant to, honest to God. I just wanted him to be happy. Not get taken for a ride. Look at the state of him now. Turned into a bog-eyed wreck by some religious maniac. 
I'm sorry. I shouldn't be saying all of this to you. It's all right. Terry obviously means an awful lot to you. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He's never going to understand that now, is he? Don't put yourself through the mill about it. It's enough that you care. About someone who hates me? About someone who needs you. He was my best mate. Now I've got no one. Nobody needs me. Are you trying to drive me to another suicide attempt? I'm sorry. We're a right pair, us two. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I think we deserve each other. Do you reckon? Yeah. And as for this nobody needs me nonsense, you're sitting next to somebody who does right now. Say so. Straight up. Thanks. Red Hot Drama in London's Burning over on ITV shortly, while here on 4, Garden Club travels far north to the flourishing Isle of Skye, next. It's too me, Eddin. Oh, come on. Your back will never get better otherwise. I'll give you a hand putting it on. Oh. Uh. Right? Yes. Just be careful. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get it round. Get it round. Yeah. Aye, aye. What's going on here then? Well, uh, I'm, I'm just helping Simba put this on. Oh, into cross dressing now, are we? Hey, it's for me back and it's doctor's orders. <laughs> yeah, that's what they all say. going to be here? I mean, he can't stay on the sofa forever. Look, I know I was out of order just bringing him round like that, but what else was I supposed to do? There's just not enough room up there. I mean, it's only just bearable with the four of us. I know that, but I just couldn't leave him in the flat by himself. Well, he's not a kid, Mick. He's 16. He's left school. I mean, he hasn't got a job. He can't claim any benefits. But we can't afford to clothe and feed him. Well, I could give him a bit of work here with me. That I doubt, wouldn't I? If you say so. Look, I realise I've probably bit enough more than I could chew. But it should only be for a couple of weeks, just till Carol gets out the oven. All right. Oh, so you're up then, eh? Did you manage to sleep OK? Yeah, the couch is that comfy, thanks. I like your hair like that. Really suits you. Thanks. You don't think it's too short, do you? Nah, I've told you. Look like a supermodel. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> see you. Yeah, see you later. She doesn't mind me staying here, does she? No, of course not. No problem. Right. Yeah. I haven't seen you for ages. Since your 21st, to be exact. Hey, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to talk too much that night. There was just loads of family in that day, you know what it's like. And there's me thinking you were ignoring me because your wife was there. No, of course not. I told you me and Sarah were finished. It didn't look like that to me. In fact, you look quite lovey-dovey when you sneaked off upstairs together. You must have got the wrong end of the stick. Me and Sarah don't go near each other now. It's over. Really? Then maybe you should tell her that. She wants me to keep away from you. Did she? Yeah, she made me feel like some big slag or something. 
Hey, I'm sorry about that. She's just been acting a bit weird lately. I think all this separation business has done her head in a bit. Separation? Yeah, and it's permanent this time. Even managed to get it through to my mum and dad. We're probably going to get divorced eventually. All right. Not before time either, and I'm sure I'm speaking for Sarah there and all. I'll have to go. What are you doing when you finish? Nothing, why? Fancy going for a drink or something? Eh, uh, yeah, all right. Shall I pick you up from the club later? Eh, uh, yeah, but make sure you don't stand me up this time. Make it about eight. That'll give me time to have a bath and everything. Great. See you then. See you later. Morning. Morning. Would you like a coffee? Oh, yes, that'd be lovely, thanks. No work today? Yes, but uh, not till about 11. What are your plans for the day? Um, well, I'm going to go see Terry and the Aussie. Then I've got to ring round all the staff from the club, tell them that we're opening tonight. Right. Right, then I'll... Uh, I'll better get going. See you later. Barry? Um, what? About last night. We can't just pretend it never happened. No, of course not. I, I just hope it doesn't make things awkward between us. I'm sure it won't. Look, you've been a really good friend to me. I wouldn't want anything to jeopardise that. Don't worry. It won't. So, where do we go from here? I mean, do we just put last night down to experience and forget about it? Well, if that's what you want, yeah. Well, what do you want? Look, I hate discussing things, getting all heavy about them. I'd rather just leave it, you know, see what happens. Great, me too. Uh, sorry. Well, don't be. Come in. See you later. Yeah. What do you want? Nice to see you and all. Yeah, I just popped up to tell you that I won't be able to do any caretaking for a while. Didn't mean to disturb anything, like. You didn't? Oh, what's wrong with you? Oh, I've been in agony with me back. It's just took me 20 minutes to walk around from the close, and then I come to them stairs, you gotta walk up. What about your wind around? Tell me about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do for money. Oh. Well, when will you be better? In about a week or so, hopefully. Is that all right? Well, it'll have to be, won't it? Yeah. So, how are you then? I'm not bad. Hmm. What's this girl? Because there's been loads of rumours flying around about you, you know. Such as? Well, that, uh, you've gone bankrupt and done a runner. Well, people round here must have very boring lives if all they've got to talk about is me. Yeah, right. So, any news about Terry? I'm going in to see him today. Doctors reckon he's going to be all right. Did you know what actually happened to you? Well, that other nut is still unconscious, isn't he? The busies are waiting to interview him. That's if he ever comes round. Well, tell Terry I was asking about him, won't you? Yeah, I will. Where are you going now? I'm going to see Jimmy. Oh, are you? Well, I'm going that way. I'll give you a lift if you like. Oh, cheers, Baz, yeah. Hey, don't mention it. Too. Ah! There you go. Thanks. You'll never guess what. What? My mum's just phoned and asked me to go on holiday with her and Paul. Is that a new fella? Yeah. Oh, where did he go? Tenerife. You lucky cow. When are you going? Thursday for two weeks and he's paying. Ugh, it's all right for some, isn't it? I know. I'll send you the postcard. Well, do you want to hear my gossip? Go on. I've got another date with Carl tonight. He's picking me up outside La Luther Eight. What? What about his wife? Oh, the separators, it's all over between them. Yeah, I've heard that one before. No, it's definite this time. He told me they're getting divorced and everything. So, there's nothing stopping me now. <sighs> all right, mate. Right. What's up with you? I've done me back in, haven't I? How did you manage that? Oh, aye, aye. That Mandy one been pushing you a bit too far, I see, eh? Yeah, if will, yeah. Just went last week, I've been in agony. You've been to Doc's, like? Yeah. And what's he given you? A corset. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Oh. Get some off. Get off, will ya? Oh. Gotta wear it all the time, have you? Yeah. We are in a bad way, aren't we, eh? Hey, starting to think you ain't coming in for a minute, Dad. Yeah, Barry Gantz just dropped me off. By the way, he said to pass on his regards. Oh, he's turned up, has he? I think he was just off on one of them mystery trips abroad, you know. Did you hear about the loony squatters blowing up his house? You yeah, what? Last week it happened. It was terrible. Like something from a disaster film. 
There's police ambulances of the lot. All the windows on the close went in. And Terry Sullivan and that Simon lad ended up in the hospital. Well, why? What caused it like? That's what everyone else wants to know. Find you there. When you thought right, didn't you? Got a bit of a scare there for a minute when he wasn't in your own bed. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. It's Simon I'm praying for. See, he's got his own personal babysitter over there. Yeah, they won't even let him get better in peace. So, what did the busies want? He wants to know what happened last week. So, what did you tell him? The truth. That the devil caused the explosion. All oh, right. They seem to have this idea that we formed some kind of suicide pact. That's why they want to talk to Simon when he wakes up. It's nice to see you up and about with. I wish you could say the same about you. That's not very nice, is it? Well, it's not fair, is it? Simon's in there fighting for his life. You're out here walking around without a scratch on you. It's the same old crappy story every time, isn't it? Got a new soulmate last week. Dom. Yeah, what's he like? Yeah, that's him talking to that blonde over there. Yeah. Smashing fan. You really like him. Doesn't fancy it, I don't think, does he? Get out of it, will yeah. Just two of a kind, that's all. Well, it's just as well you get on well with him. Must make life a lot easier. I could have ended up with a mad axeman, couldn't you? I suppose so. No, I've been keeping myself really busy, you know. Well, that's the only way to do it, really, isn't it? And I've got a new job, working in the kitchens. Yeah, it's only washing dishes and that like, but, well, better than nothing, isn't it? Well, you get paid, in there? Yes, I do. Nine quid. What, well, now, eh? Well, don't talk soft. Nine quid a week, you dickhead. I was gonna say, I'll have to get myself locked up. Yeah, I'd save me every penny, you know. And I've cut down on the fags, and I've been getting into the Alex exercise stuff and all that. Well, I must say, the best I've seen you looking for a long time. Mm, feel it, mate. I'll tell you, Jackie won't recognise me when I get home. Glad to hear it. Um, touch wood. If I'm a good little boy, I might not have to serve the all in nine months. Well, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Yeah. Well, I suppose I better go. Hey, listen, mate. Uh, don't suppose you could spare us a bluey, could you? I'm saving every penny for Jackie. You know. Well, I'd have to do a life sentence to get a decent amount, wouldn't I? I'm sorry, mate. I'm absolutely skint. If your back doesn't get better soon, I might have to come in here and tap you. Fair enough. Well, I'll see you then. Hey, listen, uh, don't suppose you fancy coming in on Friday, do you? You know, if you can make it like. Yeah, no problem. Great. I'll get a visit and order sorted, eh? OK, mate. Thanks, Simbad. What's wrong? Been a good mate. How's the revision going? Boring. I think I deserve a coffee break. Another one. Oh, I see we've even taken up doing Simbad's dirty washing now, have we? Oh, well, I may as well. I was putting some stuff in anyway. First you're putting corsets on him and now you're doing his dirty washing. Where's it all going to end, Mum? Mum, you don't have to blush. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Well, no, there isn't. And he is the opposite sex. Well, if there's nothing to be ashamed of, then why are you blushing? I'm not. Mum, it's obvious you two have become closer while I've been away. Well, yes, I suppose you could say that, but you weren't here. Rachel was always out. I had to turn to someone. So? Have you snogged him yet? <sighs> Mum, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's about time you found yourself a decent man. I do like Sinbad, but... But what? I'm scared, Beth. I don't know if I can cope with another... proper relationship after everything I've been through. I don't know if I ever will.
All right, what did you get? Carlito's way. It's supposed to be sound. Al Pacino's this coke dealer who's just got out of prison. Hang on, it's that an 18? I think I can handle it, Mick. I've seen Reservoir Dogs three times. Hey, it doesn't matter. You're underage. And they've got no business renting you that. I don't know. You have to wait till the kids have gone to bed. And I don't want Leo finding out about it. Oh, nice one, Mick. Hiya. Hiya. All right. Have a nice day. Mm, glad to be home. Looking forward to a nice, quiet night in front of the telly. Yes. You can watch Carly Toes Way with me. Sorry? I said Gary could get a film from the video shop. Oh, right. It's supposed to be dead good. That's if you haven't got a weak stomach. <laughs> sorry, Matt. I just felt sorry for him. I think he's a bit bored, you know. I don't mean to sound cold, Mick, but we hardly know him. I mean, isn't there somewhere else he can go? Where? His mum's in the Aussie, his dad's in prison. <laughs> All right. All right, then. What can I do for you, mate? Well, it's more of a case of what I can't do for you. Eh? Hey? Well, I've had a bit of trouble with me back. I won't be able to do your windows this week. And I've got a bit of juicy gossip about Lady Penelope and Barry Grant as well. Hey, hey. Eh? Only saw them snogging at that this morning, didn't I? Honest. Tongue sandwiches, the lot. Lucky Barry Grant, eh? Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me back. Oh, it always hurts when I laugh. Oh, I'm going to go and have a lie down. Good <laughs> <laughs> late, <laughs> Doesn't look too good, does he? Machines and tubes everywhere. Mind you, still got that smug expression on his face. Do you mind? No, I don't. In fact, Harry, I couldn't care less whether one of them tubes that's keeping him alive accidentally fell out. You're sick. No, I'm not. He's the one that's sick. To tell you the truth, Terry, I think it might be best for everyone if he never woke up at all. Get out of here. Can't you see what he's doing to you? Are you the only one that doesn't think he's a maniac? Just go, Barry. Look, Terry, I'm only telling you about this because I care about you. You're my best mate. You always will be. Can't you see what he's doing to you? You're no mate of mine. You never have been. Look, you're not well. You need help. <laughs> no, Barry. You're the one who needs help. Because I know where you're going to end up. And believe me, it's not a very nice place. Terry, you're on another planet. It's a pity that bomb never blew the pair of your sky eye. Might have been the best thing for everyone. Do you know what date it is on Friday? It's the 5th of August. Would have been mine and Sue's fifth wedding anniversary. So wish me dead, if you like, mate. You've already killed me. You killed me when you murdered my wife and kid. And who knows? If I never met you, I could be happily married now with a couple of kids and a nice house. But I've got none of those things because you took all of them away from me. All I've got now is this. Simon and what he's taught me. And you can't take any of that away from me. So why don't you just go and stop wasting your time? Oh, you're really into this car, aren't you? Well, you must admit, he is lovely. Yeah, well, just be careful, he is older than you. He's not that much older. I know, but he's been married, he's got a kid. Might be certain things he's going to take for granted. What? Do you mean sex? Well, he is 21. Well, I suppose it's bound to happen one day. And he always says I'd know when the right fella came along. Do you mean you want to sleep with him? I don't know. I suppose I was going to, you know, do it like... Then it should be with someone I'm really into. Yeah, well, don't let him rush you into anything. Just be careful. I will be, don't worry. Um, I'll try to be good and all. Right, so I'm going for me pizza. Good luck, eh? It's like a prison in here. And you're funny, aren't you? Hey, Jim. You started dealing or something? Yeah. I saw you counting some money. I thought you might have been into business. No. 
I'm just saving every penny. Give myself a bit of an head start for when I get out of this dump. Getting out's the easy bit. It's making life easier while you're stuck in here that matters. Oh, huh? No, do you mean, like? Fancy doing a bit of gear with me? No, I told you I'm still not interested. Please yourself. Why are you having some like? Too right. It's the nearest I'm going to get to escape in this place. <sighs> I suppose so, yeah. You sure you don't want any? You're welcome to a hit. You don't have to pay me or anything. You're all right. Nah. You're on your own, mate. Right. It's a bit loud in here, isn't it? Yeah, do you fancy going on somewhere else? It'll be last order soon. Oh, I was thinking more of a club. I'm a bit skint at the moment. Oh, well, maybe another time then. I wouldn't be too sure of that. I got laid off from work today. Oh, you're joking. It wasn't too much of a shock. We were only brought into this mantle part of the factory. So, you'll be signing on the deal then? Looks like. Why does that mean you won't be interested in me anymore? Of course not. Do you want another drink? Do you? Yeah, I think I can just about afford to get us one more. Oh, oh, gently. Gently. Oh, God, you're heavy. Oh, I can't. Oh. <clears throat> Hi. Oh. Okay, that, love. Yep. What about your revision? Oh, well, you guys better be nice 24 hours a day. So, who are you going out with? Just to go from my course. Oh, what's her name? Kerry Willis. It's a birthday this week, so she had to go to a club with her tonight. And uh, is she your friend? Yeah, she is my friend. And she'll be with her boyfriend. So, there's no need to worry, she's 100% heterosexual. I didn't mean. Mum, you don't need to waste your breath. I know exactly what you meant. I'm going out with a straight friend to a straight club, and I won't be back late. So you can stop getting all worked up for no reason. Okay? See you soon, Beth. Yeah, see you, Beth. Bye, Mum. I made a right mess of that, didn't I? I'm saying nothing. So what? I thought you meant to be young, free and single now. That's a point. I'm sorry we had to get the last bus home. It's all right. I can have to go to a club another time. It's crap being skint, isn't it? I don't feel like going home at all. I know. Can't even invite you back to ours either. Unless you fancy watching the telly with your mum and all, mate. <laughs> I think I'll give that a miss. <laughs> what are you doing tomorrow night? Nothing, why? If you can persuade me dad to let me his car, how would you fancy going for a drive somewhere? Yeah, I'd love to. Great. Let's see what I can do. Come on, I'll walk you on. You're back late. Yeah. I had to go to the club, stay from the hospital. Thought loads of things needed sorting out. You look worn out. Yeah, I am. How was Terry? Don't ask. That bad? Don't think I'll bother going and seeing him again. There's no point. Why? Well, he's just not there anymore. He's not Terry. When I got to the hospital, the police were questioning him. They must think he's a complete head, the ball. He kept on saying it was the devil that caused the explosion. Oh. I just can't get through to him anymore. He won't listen. And it's doing me head in. I even told him that I wished he died in that house. And do you know what makes it even worse? I meant it. I meant every word. He's my best mate. And I can't cope seeing him like this. I wish you could forget all about him. 
Gott. He's not well. There's nothing I can do to help him. Not at all. Uh, there should be some under the sink. Right. I asked stop back at the club this afternoon. We opened last night. I can't say I'm looking forward to it, though. Mm, we should see the state of those toilets after a busy night. Still, the money will come in handy. I need to save every penny I can for Josh's christening. Oh, I didn't know you were religious. Well, I'm not really, but I was christened, so it's just to be on the safe side. And I don't want Josh being sent to a different place if there is something up there. Uh, it's going to be a brilliant party anyway. Massive do. You'll both be invited, by the way. Oh, great. Thanks. I'm having some proper invitations printed. I'll bring them round when they're ready. Lovely. Uh, do you think I should invite Barry Grant? I mean, you might think I'm being a bit funny if I don't, you know, with him being the other boss like. Well, uh, you could always ask him. You know how busy he always is. Mm, I suppose so. Hey, he must be going berserk the state those loonies left his place. Well, he'll be fully insured. Do you reckon there was some kind of devil worshipping going on? And the explosion was a human sacrifice that went wrong? Well, I suppose anything's possible. Well, they're out of there now. That's the main thing. Yeah, one less thing for Dad to worry about. <laughs> hey, is your dad up in court or something today? Why? Well, I noticed him leaving before. All dressed up to the nines, he was. He hasn't got another woman, has he? Sorry? <laughs> Don't panic. I'm only one, you know. You know, that's not the first time Dad's gone out all dressed up recently. You don't think there could be another woman, do you? No, I shouldn't think so. And your dad is probably some new fad he's into. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Anyway, don't worry. In a few weeks' time, he'll have grandchild number two to fuss over. He can babysit to his heart's content. Yeah, that should keep him out of trouble. Exactly. So, you need to save your energy for this little one's arrival. So, put your feet up, leave everything to Bev and me. Hi. Oh, yeah. Come in. All right. Just come over to let you know I can borrow my mum and dad's car tonight. Honest? So, do you still fancy going for a drive somewhere? Yeah, I'd love to. Maybe go to Formby or something? Yeah, great. Who's in? Just me. My mum's at work and all Mike stays out all night. So you've got the house to yourself then? Well, I've got to go to work myself in a minute. You're not going straight away, are you? In about five minutes. What's up? Oh, I, I just, you know, feel a bit wheezy. It's all right, everyone's out. I know, You're but... just being paranoid. Oh, all right. All right. Just coming round to see Jack. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I'd better get to work then. I'll see you later. Pick you up about seven. You two seem to be getting a bit serious. The second night on the run, you've taken it out. Doesn't bother you, does it? Why should it? I haven't done my job since. I don't suppose you fancy coming. Oh, there'll be nothing down there for me. You never know. Well, they're hardly going to be advertising the type of jobs I want. So what you plan to do? Just sit around and wait for Hollywood to offer you some work? That's it. I've been writing off to loads of places. I just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, but you're going to need something to keep you going in the meantime, aren't you? You really know how to make someone feel good, don't you? So you come in, then. 
Yeah, why not? I've got nothing else to do, have I? Cheers, mate. Hey, come on now, sunshine. Be a little boy. Go to sleep for your dad. He doesn't look very tired. No, I was hoping the fresh air might knock him out. Where's Beth? She's cleaning round the Farnham's. She should be back any minute. At least I hope she will be. I've got to go down the cash and carry. Oh, do you mind getting a few little things for me while you're down there? Oh, no, of course you. I don't. Oh, just a few little things. I'll make a list. Hi, dear. He doesn't look as if he's ready to go to sleep. <laughs> Give him here. I'll look after him till Bev gets back. I hope he's as good as this at the christening. <laughs> Come on, love. Come on. What's this about a christening? I was going to tell you about that. Isn't that a bit hypocritical after the way you carried on about the church in the past? Well, it's Bev's idea, Dee. She just wants to do things proper. And when did she last go to church? It's what she wants. It's just an excuse for a party for her, isn't it? Like most people. All the same, we'd both like it if you were there. What about our Michael? Has he been invited? I'm sure you wouldn't want to miss out on what could be his son's baptism. Don't start, Dee. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't suppose anyone fancies lending me a five, do you? Uh, you suppose, right, son? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? It was only last week you were going on about buying me a big graduation present. Hey, 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 hey. Nobody said anything about a big graduation present. What I said was a small memento to mark the occasion. Right, well, I want a new guitar. The old one's crap. A guitar? How much is one of them going to cost? Hang on, hang on. Look on the bright side. I'll be able to start busking. I won't have to ask you for money anymore. Hey, hey, hey. You will never have to start busking, all right? You've got a degree now, haven't you? Anyway, what do you want this forever for? Well, I've got to go down the job centre with Carl. I need bus fare. The job centre? What are you going down there for? You've got letters after your name, for God's sake. Yeah, I wish it was that easy. And anyway, money will. Yeah, come say I never give you nothing. Thanks. See you later. Yeah, ta-ra. Three years at university, and for what? And to think I voted this lot in. Keep that to myself if I was you. Alright. How's your back? Pretty much the same, thanks. Could be a few weeks before I'm back on me down, though. No. Oh well, hope it gets better soon. Yeah, ciao. See ya. See you later. Bye. See ya, mate. Ta-da, mate. I'm gonna go down to the supermarket. They don't sell any diet stuff at the trading post. Right. Hey, listen, uh, do you mind if I stay at your house for a bit longer? No, of course not. I wouldn't have asked otherwise. Good. Well, I'll get some clothes from me flat and I'll have a nice fat free meal waiting for you when you get home. My way of saying thanks. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely day, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, um, do you fancy going for a drink tonight? What, a puppy, me? Yeah, well, you know, I thought it might make a change. We don't get out, do we? That's because we're always broke. Yeah, well, I can afford to buy it at half. What do you say? Oh, go on, then. You twisted my arm. Listen, I'll see you later. All right, see you later. I get a nice christening gown, Jack. Oh, well, Lindsay got a lovely one for our Kylie's christening. I'll ask her where she got it if you like. Would you? Hey, I'm not having my son all wrapped up in some poncy frock. And I suppose you'd be happy with them wrapped in that minty candle with bedspread from the flat, wouldn't you? <laughs> it is a thought. Hiya. Hiya. Um, just these mints, please. Very wise, love. If there's one thing worse than a traffic warden, it's a traffic warden with bad breath. Oh, yeah, very funny. Must remember that one. You know, I haven't heard it for, what, at least ten minutes. <laughs> Must keep you fit, though, all that walking everywhere. Mm -hmm. And unlike some other people I could mention, I still go to aerobics every week. Well, I wouldn't mind going again. Well, I'm going tonight. Why don't you come? It only works if you keep it up. As the actress said to the bishop. <laughs> what do you reckon, Jack? I'll go if you go. Um, all right, then. Yeah, that's settled, then. Uh, look, I'm going straight from work, so I'll just meet you in there about half six. Maybe we go for a drink afterwards. Bit of a <laughs> girls' night out. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm hardly flushed at the moment. Oh, I'll get you a drink. Here's that list. There's not much on it. All oh, right. Uh, I said I'd get Dee Dee some bits from the cash and carry. I've got to go down there anyway. How do you fancy coming to aerobics tonight, Dee? Oh, no, thanks. Oh, come on. You'll enjoy yourself. No, it's not my cup of tea. Well, just come out for a drink afterwards with the girls down the swan. Well, uh... Why not? Say, it isn't of being out. Who's going? Well, it'll just be you, me, Jackie and Bev. Oh, right. Right, well, we'll meet you in there about half seven, then. Yeah, I look forward to it. It's about time I got myself out. After all, I'm young, free and single, aren't I, eh? <laughs> Packer requires 40 hours per week, 80 pounds plus bonus supply within. No, thanks. Terrible, isn't it? 40 hours a week for 80 quid. They're all the same. It's just slave labour and schemes. 
Media graduate required to assist on new Hollywood movies. 80,000 plus apply within. What? As if. Your Jackie's on a scheme down the leisure centre, isn't she? Yeah, it's only a two year thing. What's she on? Only £35 a week. Good job she enjoys it, I suppose. Yeah, but it hardly justifies it though, does it? I mean, if she didn't have the garage job, she wouldn't be able to cope. So where are you planning on taking her tonight? Thought we'd try to phone or somewhere. Oh my. Nice little walk in the sandals, eh? There's no way to get paranoid. I really like your Jackie. I'll look after her. Yeah, well, you better add. <laughs> OK, big brother. Should we get off? There's nothing down for us here. That's the best thing you've said all day. Looks like we'll have to sign on until Steven Spielberg snaps me up. Looks like you and me are in the same boat. How did it go? It didn't. As soon as I went onto the hospital ward, he called for the nurses. He freaked out and was asked to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I've tried my best. The only person he's interested in is that loony Simon. You've tried all you can. I feel shattered. I'm not surprised. After all these years of us being mates, I can't get through to him anymore. He doesn't want to know me. I know what it's like to be rejected, believe me. I went through it all when Clive died. Well, there's nothing else I can do, is there? I can't even go to the hospital now. The nurses will just throw me out. You need to get away from it all for a while. Well, that was what I was planning. Just me and Te. I even met the travel agent this morning. I thought I could persuade him to come away with me. No chance. There's another few hundred quid down the Swanee. Why don't you still go? it would do you good. On my own? Why not? Forget about Terry. Think about yourself for once. Wouldn't be ashamed to waste you the ticket, though, wouldn't it? I don't suppose you fancy coming with me. Are you serious? Well, I wouldn't suggest it otherwise. What about all the... Forget them. Well, in that case, I'd love to. There is one big problem, though. What's that? Max. I don't think he'd be too happy if I disappeared again. I've already caused him enough aggro. Look, you need a break. Most people have been therapy if they've been through what you have recently. You deserve a holiday. I don't think Max is going to say it quite like that. You leave him to me. <laughs> hey, Bev. I hope you didn't mind me inviting Dee Dee earlier. No, of course not. Oh, God, I wasn't thinking straight. I was just a bit worried I might have put my foot in it, like. Nah, not at all. So, uh, do you two get on all right, then? Well, she's been really nice to me lately. To be honest with you, it freaks me out a bit. That was an issue, was not it? You got <laughs> She's not soft. Mm. She knows it's over between her and her. I think she's just realised it's easy for her and everyone else if she just accepts her. Oh, St. Dee Dee. Yeah. <laughs> we better get a move on or St. Dee Dee's going to be stood in the swan on her own. <laughs> and don't forget, you've got your mother to thank for this, not me. You don't have to tell me that. I'm warning you, if you get so much as one scratch on this car, you'll regret the day you were born. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks, love. Ciao. Oh. oh, we are. Mm. Here's Dee now. Oh, yeah. Hi, love. Smell around. What are you having? Um, an orange juice, please. Oh, don't be a bore. Have a proper drink. All right, then, um, a martini lemonade, thanks. Hey, should we go and grab a table? Yeah. I don't know if she drank. I don't think she usually does. She's just making the most of it because it's my around. <laughs> Was Ron OK about babysitting tonight? Yeah. Anyway, he's going to have to get used to it, isn't he? Because if I have my way before too long, there's going to be another little Dixon to look after. <laughs> Poor fella, he'll be worn out. Martini lemonade as well, please. Oh, I've made up. You've come out. I've been wanting to have a gab with you. It's nice you to ask me. It's ages since I've been out. Mm. See how Carl's getting on very well with your daughter. Jackie, is it? What do you mean? Well, they went out last night and he's taking her out again tonight. Looks like they're getting serious.
he wants another holiday, does he? And he sent you round to do his creeping for him. Well, you can tell him from me he's not going anywhere till he speaks to me first. He really has been under the most enormous pressure these last few weeks. And what about the restaurant? I mean, doesn't he appreciate the pressure we've been under? Of course he does. Look, I can assure you, the restaurant is his number one priority. Well, I find that hard to believe. I mean, if the restaurant was his top priority, it'd be up and running by now. He really is worn out. If he doesn't get a complete rest soon, he'll be no use to anyone. Look, I promise you, once he's back, he'll be a new person. Everything will go as planned. I promise you that. So, he listens to you, does he? Well, you can tell him he can go on his holiday on one condition. That before he jets off, I want a meeting with him first. One or two things I want sorting out once and for all. So, why are you so keen for Barry to get away? What's in it for you? Well, actually, he's asked me to go with him. I thought there had to be an ulterior motive. I swear it's not like that. He really does need a break. Who wouldn't after all he's been through? So, where are you jetting off to? That's if Max allows it. Two weeks in Florida. Mm, lucky you. Don't fancy swapping places with me, do you? Long to go now, eh? Nineteenth uh, of August, to be precise. I'm sorry I won't be there for the birth. You must think I'm dreadful. No, not at all. I don't blame you. Anyway, I'll have Max to hold my hand. And you've got your own commitments to Barry now, haven't you? You could say that, yes. Oh, what's it? <laughs> my <laughs> knee's <laughs> gone. Oh, thanks, Dick. <laughs> Who fancies a game of darts? Oh, done enough exercise for one night. Oh, come on, it'll be a laugh. Quick, before somebody else gets in there. Do you know, I don't know where that one gets her energy from. She's on her feet all day. You know, just Dee back on the orange juice now it's her round. Tight <laughs> The things you've noticed. <laughs> Here you go, Dee. Oh. We'll just have a little warm-up first, eh? I've not played darts before. Yeah, well, you know what they say. First time for everything. Oh! It's <laughs> not as easy as it looks. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. They are. At least you at the board that time. You know, if you play your cards right, you could end up on Bullseye. Like me and Eddie. What? You've been on Bullseye? Yeah. Well, that was a few years ago now. We won the star prize. The speedboat. But that came in handy. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we soon got short of it. Eddie used the money to get the Arley instead, love. I think I prefer the speedboat. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind, but it was me who threw the win and dart. Even though I was supposed to be the non-darts player. God. Eddie went to pieces. I don't think he'll ever live that down at work. What made you play to Bullseye in the first place? Well, just to laugh, really. Yeah, me and Eddie, we've always enjoyed a game of darts. I used to run a girls' team at our local. But, well, fell apart and then we ran into a few problems, like... You should have seen it. I'd love to be on the telly. Well, I've got it on video. Borrow it if you like. Great, yeah, I'd love to. And I'll be signing autographs at the end of the night and <laughs> all girls. Come on, Rosie, show us how it's done. Mm, right, you ready for this? Yeah. It's lovely round here, isn't it? I know. Some of those houses we passed must be worth a bomb. Well, loads of the footballers live up here. Lucky then. Wish someone would pay me a fortune for kicking a ball around. <laughs> I think I'll move up here when I'm older. Planning on marrying a footballer then, are you? Hey, you never know. Fancy driving down to the beach? Yeah, all right. You can give me a driving lesson if you like. And what do I get in return? You don't give, it's receive. I do. <sighs> Makes a change just being on our own, doesn't it? Yeah, you've got to make the most of it, eh? <laughs> um, half a lager in line, please, love. Oh, and you better give us one of them low-calorie beers as well, please. Hey, it's Mandy and Simbad. Simbad, Mand! What was that about a quiet night to ourselves? Hey, that was good timing. Sorry? Well, I've just arranged a friendly darts match with those women over there. Only thing is, we're players short. Oh, well, I don't think I'll be very good. Oh, be it. Of yourself. You couldn't be worse than Dee Dee. She's only hit the board once. Hey, we're all right, girls. Mandy saved the day. Now, we're only having a bit of a warm-up first. Nice one, Mand. Yeah. Careful, will ya? Sorry, Pat. I think you must need glasses. Yeah, I think you must. Sure, she did that on purpose. Hey, I hope your fella's back gets better soon. Our windows are looking filthy. Well, I think he's on the mend, but it comes and goes, you know. It can be a terrible thing, the back. My dad suffered for years with this. 
What's the doctor giving him for him? Oh, uh, you know, my dad had to have one of them surgical corset thingies. Oh, really? That's mm. what Simbad's got. You what? Oh, yeah. He is walking funny, isn't he? Hey, Simbad. I think you've got your corset on too tight. Hey, what's all this about? Oh, turns out our window cleaner is quite kinky on the slide. Mm. He's into wearing corsets. <laughs> it's for me back. Oh. Thanks very much. <laughs> oh, sorry, love. I couldn't resist it. Hey, Simbad, I've got an old boob tube. You can have it. Really suit you. <laughs> hey, man, you'll have to start locking your knickers and bras away. Yeah, very funny, very funny. <laughs> oh, he's gone all shy. Oh, hey, man, dear. I don't suppose you know anything about making christening gowns, do you? Well, I've never made one of those. Oh, well, then, a bit of challenge for you. Oh, by the way, everyone, we're getting our Josh christened in a few weeks. There'll be a great big party and everything, so I'd just like to say you are all invited. Ah, oh, thanks, love. We're going to start this match, or what? What are this lot like, eh? <laughs> well, it's good to see you out and about and enjoying yourself for the change. I shouldn't even be here. I'm skinned. I feel terrible. Can't even offer to buy a round. Oh, join the club. I went in to see Jimmy yesterday. How is he? He looks great. You won't recognise him when he comes out. I don't think I recognise him anyway. It's been that long since I've seen him. Yeah, he'll be out before you know it. Yeah, I suppose so. Right, girls, come on. I want you to give it loads. We'll thrash this lot, no problem. Looks lovely, doesn't it? No. Looks like something from a film, doesn't it? <laughs> I really like it, you know. I really like you and all. Right now, come on, man, now. A double seven and we've won. Our own team. Oh, hey, I'd be into that. Mm -hmm. So would I. We were brilliant. <laughs> Only thing is, we need six players if we're going to form a proper team. <laughs> what about your men? Oh, that's true. She'd be into it. Still leaves us one short, though. Oh, are you forgetting Dee Dee? Oh, you're joking, aren't you? She only hit the board three times all night. Wouldn't stand a chance with her in the team. Oh, she's not going to like that. You know, she's really enjoyed herself tonight. Mm. We'll leave you to tell her, shall we? Oh, mate, up. You invited me. I've had a great time. Got you again sometime, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Haven't we? Sorry. What's up? Look, I feel a bit stupid, but it's just... Well, I've never really been this close to a lab before. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I just don't want to do anything I might end up regretting. I am not stupid. I know you can't take any risks these days. That's why I came prepared. <laughs> not that I was presuming anything, you know? I hope you're... Uh... I don't think I was either. Snap. <laughs> Look, it's not that I'm a big prude or anything. I just don't want to do anything here. It doesn't seem right for some reason. I understand. I do want to be with you. It just feels awkward here. I wish we had somewhere else to go. Somewhere where we could be by ourselves. I wish I had a flat or something. It's crap living at home, isn't it? We could always... No, forget it. No, go on, say it. No, it was a mad idea. No, go on. I was going to say we could book a night at a hotel or something, there's loads in Southport. But I couldn't even if we wanted to, I'm broke. Well, if we could find a cash point, I could always get the money. I, I couldn't let you pay. Why not? I don't mind. You sure? Yeah, I want to. So you're going to find a bank then? <laughs> 